my Bosch dishwasher has stopped working and its primary symptom is a flashing display panel. According to the internet, this is related to the door not being completely closed. But the door is indeed closed and after a little bit of troubleshooting, I verify the door switch is defective and I am going to replace it, which is what this video is all about. And while this repair is specific to this model of Bosch dishwasher, I think you will find that many of their consumer grade washers are constructed very similar. And much of this video will apply to similar models of Bosch units. This project begins with getting a replacement switch on its way, which starts with determining the washer's model number. Normally there is a label on the inside edge of the door here on the right. Open the door, look for the label and note the model number. While you can get a switch from a variety of sources, I got mine online from Parts Warehouse. They had a nice exploded parts diagram to help me locate the part, along with the parts list. The new switch was $40, including shipping, and I had it in three days. With the new switch in hand, about the only other tool I will need is a T20 Torx driver. You absolutely don't need the cordless screwdriver I show here, but if you do, it will just make the job go a little bit quicker. First, make sure the power is off. I turn off the washer and turn off mine at the wall switch. If you don't have a wall switch, turn off the power at the unit's circuit breaker. First, I'll remove the door's sheet metal lower cover. Open the washer's door full open. Along each side, there are three sheet metal screws three here on the left, here, here, and here. Three more on the right, here, here, and here. Using that T20 Torx driver, remove all six. Now the other side. Now close the door. Reach down toward the bottom of the door and flex the bottom corners of the cover slightly outward while pulling gently outward and downward. The cover should come free and set it aside. It's not uncommon to have one or two plastic spacers come out when removing the door panel. It's no big deal and I'll show you how to reinstall them later. You now need to remove the upper control panel. Open the washer door and look for another six screws. On the left side of the door, one here, here, and here. And three more here on the right, here, here, and here. Using the Torx driver, remove all six. As you remove this last one, hold onto the control panel to prevent it from falling off the door. At this point, you should have a total of 12 screws removed. Hold onto the control panel and move the door back up. A quick wiggle of the control panel and it should pop free of the door. And there's the switch right there in the middle of the panel. The control panel is still connected to the door by two wire harnesses. If you're feeling real confident, you can make careful note of the two plugs that connect the panel to the door and unplug them to get more slack between the door and the control panel. If not, leave the wires alone and lay the panel on a stool or chair. Here's the switch in the middle of the panel. 
which now needs to be removed. Pull the plug free of the switch. Now let's take a close look at the switch. First, note its orientation. There are three contacts and the long one is on the top. The switch is held in place by two retaining clips, here and here. Press the two retainers aside and wiggle the switch free of its mounting. Install the new switch in the same orientation, sliding it over the two aligning pins and press it snugly into place, making sure the two retaining clips fully engage the switch, here and here. Then plug the harness back onto the switch. Time to start putting things back together. Pull the top of the door out. Position the control panel back on the top of the washer door. And while holding the panel in place, begin replacing its six screws. I found it easier to start with the two side screws, followed by these four top screws. Careful with these four as they screw in the plastic and can be easily stripped. One more on the right. Since I'm using a power screwdriver, I double check the tightness using the hand driver. If you've unplugged any of the wiring harnesses earlier, it's now time to make sure everything is plugged back in. Now the bottom panel. If either of the two plastic spacers came off when you removed the bottom panel, replace them now like this. Kneeling in front of the washer, position the lower panel with the curved recess at the top. Slide the top panel up and behind the plastic control panel you just installed. When it's properly positioned behind the control panel, push in on the bottom corners and it should snap into place over the plastic spacers. Now open the door while holding the lower panel and reinstall the six screws that hold it in place. Now the three on the other side. And you're done. Now let's see if it works. Success! I hope this video helped you with your repair. Remember, life is a journey. Enjoy the ride and thanks for watching. Thank you.